Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Low Carb Revelation. I am Paula and I live a keto lifestyle. Today I have a couple of things planned in this video. I'm gonna be showing you what I eat throughout the day today on a clean keto diet. I keep my carbs under 20 carbs a day. That's total carbs, I don't count net carbs. I also have a couple of really quick microwave recipes to show you. One is a snack idea and the other one is a dessert idea. So just sitting here today having my coffee and the voice is still not on point. Doctor's appointment scheduled tomorrow for my yearly physical, for my blood work and all of that. So I will be updating you very soon on how I am doing with my labs. I'm also just gonna have her check me out and make sure that everything's going okay with um, this congestion and if I need anything for it and so forth. So today I am just sitting here having a cup of black coffee. I drink black coffee in the mornings while I'm fasting. I usually have one cup of black coffee in the morning while I'm fasting and then I drink water until it is time to eat my first meal, which is around noon. And when that time comes, I will be back to show you what I'm having for my first meal. So I'll see you then. So it's time for my first meal. I'm having two baked French eggs. I meal prepped those yesterday. And I have some bacon here that I meal prepped a couple of days ago. Just zapped them in the microwave for a minute or two. Also having some water with some orange salt from Element. And that is my first meal. So I'll be back in a little bit. Well, now I'm gonna show you a quick little snack. Now, I want you to not listen to people who say that the ketogenic diet is not easy. You can make it very easy. A lot of people overcomplicate this diet and it doesn't have to be. And so I'm gonna show you a really quick snack. If you want something, you're gonna be sitting down watching a movie and you just want something to munch on, you can take pepperoni, but look at these. I just found these. I'm gonna try these for the first time actually. These are sliced chorizo. They are like little pepperonis. But you can just take sliced pepperoni and you can also take like salami that is thin sliced and do the same thing with this. And you can take some out of the package. I'm just gonna do maybe six of them and lay them out here on a paper towel on a plate. Okay, so we got seven. And okay, we got eight. <laughs> so you're gonna lay them out on your paper towel and you're going to cover this with another paper towel. You're gonna put this in the microwave for about 40 seconds is what it usually takes for mine. Some people's may take a minute. You just wanna eyeball it. What you're wanting to do is you're wanting to uh, cook these in the microwave until they are crispy. Not burnt, but crispy. So you might want to check on it every 10 seconds or so after about 20 or 30 seconds so that you can get it to the right consistency. But I'm gonna pop these in the microwave and I'll be right back. I'm getting ready to pull them out of the microwave now. Like I said, it's been about 40 seconds. This is what it looks like. The grease really um, comes out on the paper towel. Just taking the top off and just blotted more of the grease off of these. You wanna let them sit for a minute or two and cool off. I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these. These are great. Also, if you have something that you wanna dip them in, but they're perfect for snacking. So I'm gonna go ahead and try. Mmm. Wow. I really like the sliced chorizo. It says it's new by Hormel. They are spicier than a pepperoni. These would be perfect to take with you if you're going to the movies. Take a little baggie of these and munch on them. They are so good. So the other day I was messing around in the kitchen trying to make a mug cake and I came up with this one. And I have a clear mug here because I wanna show you what it looks like when I cook it. You don't have to use a clear mug. But I am putting in this mug a third cup of blackberries and a teaspoon of granular monk fruit. I'm just gonna sprinkle it right over top of the berries and then just give it a little bit of a stir. I'm using Monk Zero Monk Fruit Sweetener with erythritol. I'm not really concerned about the erythritol scare. You can use whatever kind of granular sweetener that you want. And so I have a tablespoon of butter in this micro microwave safe bowl. I'm gonna melt it in the microwave. All right, then you're gonna take your melted butter 
we put two tablespoons of almond flour, add about a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and then you're going to put another teaspoon of the granular sweetener into your batter, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one egg. I'm going to crack that right into there. I tried it first without the egg and it just did not turn out well. So you're just going to mix this up really well. And then you're going to pour it over. Let's move this out of the way. You're going to pour it over your berries. This is a blackberry cobbler mug cake. Okay. So you can pour this over your blackberries. I'm gonna put it in my microwave for two minutes. That's what it took in mine. It may vary, but you want it to be kind of springy when it comes out. And so I'll show you what it looks like after two minutes. So I just recorded a taste test of this and I looked at my phone and I forgot to hit record. So I'm gonna do this all over again. This is my little mug cake. And when it's cooking in the microwave, it does rise up to the top. It looks kind of like it's gonna overflow. But if your mug is tall enough, you need to make sure you have a tall enough mug so that it has room to do that. And then after you take it out, it kind of flattens back down. This is definitely a recipe that can be adapted. If you wanna add a little bit more sweetener to it to make it sweeter, I just don't really care for super sweet desserts anymore. And you can also put a little more almond flour in it if you want it to be a little more bready. I just wanna watch the carb count, so that's why I only put ta two tablespoons in it. But it's definitely a recipe that you can play around with and get it however you like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try, while the camera is recording, I had to double check and try this for you hot be great with a little bit of homemade whipped cream on top or a scoop of my vanilla ice cream recipe it would be really good this is just enough when you want something sweet and you don't want to overindulge by making too much and causing too much temptation so just wanted to show you this quick little recipe i'll be back in just a little it's bit dinner time and i made egg roll in a bowl for dinner today ed has been asking for this for a few days and he's still working right now but I'm gonna go ahead and eat. This is one of our favorite go-to meals. It is a really quick, easy meal to make. It's very filling and we just love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video now. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you really soon. Have a great day and God bless.